Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It's Tag Tuesday time. It is Tag Tuesday time. And for the entire month, once again, the fabulous Sandy put together all the questions. So it is going to kind of be like a Thanksgiving theme for the whole month. So that's fine with me because Thanksgiving is one of my favorites. So let's get started on the first of five November tags, and it is a would you rather tag. Oh, and I was tagged, of course, by Sandy, so thank you, Sandy and Jimmy. Should I tag my people now so I don't forget? Yes. I will. I am going to tag Edie over at Edie's Adventures, and I am going to tag Mary Fran over at No Excuses. So, Edie and Mary Fran, if you guys would love to do this tag, we would love to watch your answers. Now, everybody's links, Sandy and Edie and Mary Fran, will be in the description box below. So make sure you go over and check them out and show them some subscription love. Now let's get started. Number one, would you rather cancel Halloween or Thanksgiving? That's, that's easy. easy. That's easy. Halloween. Halloween, yeah. Yeah, not big Halloween fans. And I love Thanksgiving because yeah. it's food focused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number two, would you rather catch a live turkey with your bare hands or empty the insides of 50 pumpkins? I think catching a live turkey would be fun. Well, I do want to raise our own turkey next year for Thanksgiving. Yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> I kind of mentioned it. It's a discussion that's going to happen. Um, and I'm probably going to be vetoed. I, yeah, like, I don't know how fast turkeys are. Like, I mean, I can catch a chicken. Turkeys are bigger. Turkeys are bigger. And, like, the chickens know us, so they kind of submit to us. So, I don't know. But I learned a hack about cleaning out the inside of a pumpkin. Use your hand mixer. Oh. If you use your hand mixer, like, the beaters, like, clean out all the... I saw it on like, I don't know, TikTok or somewhere. So I don't know if it really works. I haven't tried it because basically our pumpkins just get split in half and fed to the chickens. But if that's the case, that would be pretty easy. So I think it'll be fun to catch a turkey though. Number three, would you rather eat an entire pumpkin pie or a gallon of pumpkin ice cream? Pie. Well, you know, I am an ice cream lover. If it was a gallon of Turkey Hill Naturals mint chocolate chip or my homemade ice cream, that would be the answer. But pumpkin ice cream, meh, I'm going for the pie. Yeah, I like the pumpkin pie. As long as the pie has as much whipped cream as pie <laughs> filling. <laughs> yeah. And not that stuff in a can. Real whipped cream. Number four, would you rather go a week gobbling like a turkey or talk with a mouthful of food for a week. That's easy. Talk with a mouthful of food. It means I'm eating all the time. <laughs> I would rather gobble like a turkey because nothing grosses me out more than talking with a mouthful yeah, of food. That does bug her, I know. Sorry. I don't like to, mm -hmm. yeah. I can't, I can't handle the watching people eat. I can't. I want to know who watches all these mukbangers on YouTube because I can't watch people eat, especially if their mouth is open, especially if they make noises. <laughs> yeah. So I will definitely gobble like a turkey. Gobble, gobble. gobble. <laughs> Would you rather spend Thanksgiving weekend without football or shopping? Football. Shopping. <laughs> Sorry. I don't make you shop. You don't. And honestly, I pretty much do it all online. Mm. I really don't go out much. So, but I do like to, we basically spend Thanksgiving weekend decorating. Yeah, for Christmas. Decorating for Christmas and usually doing something fun like going to an escape room with extended family. So, but yeah, I don't need football. Number six, would you rather eat only turkey or only mashed potatoes for an entire month? 
Turkey. Turkey. I like mashed potatoes, but I can do a whole lot with turkey. Yeah. You can only do so many things with mashed potatoes. Yeah. Mashed potatoes, mashed potato cakes. Don't say anything about my mashed potato cakes. <laughs> my mom used to make very good mashed potato cakes with leftover mashed potatoes. Every time we have mashed potatoes and they're leftover, I'm always like, oh, I'm going to save these and tomorrow night we're going to have mashed potato cakes. They turn into science projects. We never have them. <laughs> <laughs> so now I only make enough mashed potatoes for dinner. Yeah. And if there's any leftover protein for his lunch the next day, I'll, I'll have like a little pile. But no. yeah, because no. I know what's going to happen. I'm not going to make them. Would you rather eat a raw onion or an entire clove of garlic? A raw onion would make me sick. Yeah, he... I don't want to say he's allergic to raw onions, but him, his mother, and his brothers all get ill from mm. raw onions. Like, stomach ill. So, yeah. I know you don't want to eat that. No. So, I'll, yeah. choose, I'll choose the garlic. Keep the vampires away. Yeah. And me. <laughs> I would have... I'm not a big onion fan, so I'd have to go with the garlic. Number eight. Would you rather spend Thanksgiving Day wearing a pumpkin stem on your head or dress like a turkey? I think the pumpkin stem because yeah. it would be less obtrusive. Yeah, I think um, so. Yeah, if I was to dress like a turkey and trying to make dinner, it would be a pain in the neck. Yeah. yeah. And fun fact, as a matter of fact, if you have a bitmoji, um, I have a little bitmoji and I do remember to change her clothes each season, but right now, She's wearing a little pumpkin stem on her head. If I remember, I'll insert a picture here of my Bitmoji with my pumpkin stem on my head. Next. Number nine. Would you rather have been a Native American or a pilgrim at the first Thanksgiving? I'd say Native American. Me too. Why would you say it? Because they were more acclimated to the location to you know to that would be uh, that's exactly they kind of taught the pilgrims yeah what to do and what to eat and how to prepare it and yeah that's exactly my answer too I, i'd rather have the knowledge and yeah. yeah and chances are if you were a pilgrim you'd be dead because so many of them died yeah, true number 10 would you rather attend the macy parade or the rose bowl parade Hmm. Rose Bowl Parade is warmer. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> That's in what? California, right? Yeah, Pasadena. Yeah. Uh, Macy's is in New York. Yeah. Don't love either place. No. So. Hmm. Hmm. I would have to say the Rose Bowl Parade, I guess, only because I think... It would be amazing to see all those floats and stuff made out of the real roses. Yeah. Um, I mean, the Macy's Parade, I'm sure, is very lovely. But honestly, like, we've got, like, the Philadelphia Parade here. We've got the Mummers Parade. The Mummers Parade is my favorite parade of all time. All time, because I love the string bands. Um, so, like, we have, like, again, the Macy's Parade kind of just reminds me of the Thanksgiving Day Parade that's here in Philadelphia. So I would want something totally different. So it would be the Rose Bowl Parade for me. Yeah. And guess what? That is it. This was an easy one, Sandy. Thank you. Um, so I am, like I said, tagging Edie and Mary Fran. And that is it. We will be back next Tuesday for a who, what, or why tag? That one should make us think a little bit. Don't look ahead at the questions. I saw that. Okay. Cheater. So thank you so much for watching and spending a little bit of time with us today. And that's it. We will see you in our next video.